Time to put some content out, feed the viewers. You know how it goes. Gotta feed these these viewers, man. Yeah, Chris, where's the content? We want our news. Yeah, 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 I know, I know. <laughs> I got it coming. Oh, by the way, hello, viewers. Mornings, afternoons, another beautiful day. Hope your five senses work, health and strength is good or excellent. Yeah. All right, listen up, you NVIDIA fans. Listen to this. NVIDIA just fixed an AMD Linux bug while it struggles itself with Windows driver issues. It says here, uh, AMD driver issue complaints are something the company is well aware of, and it's certainly making an active effort to combat them in interesting and innovative ways, like using a new AI tool, for example. Surprisingly, perhaps, it has been NVIDIA that has been the one dealing with more driver-related as well as other problems with its current gen RTX 50 series card. So while NVIDIA continues dealing with problems on Windows, an engineer from there helped resolve an AMD driver bug on Linux. A recent patch notes revealed this as it says, fix a performance regression on AMD iGPUs and DGPU drivers related to unintended activation of DMA bounce buffers that regress game performance in K in cast in K A S L R uh, uh, distrib distributed uh, uh, things just enough. It says here. Uh, interestingly, the issue, as it turns out, was the consequence of a previous bad commit by an Nvidia engineer. <laughs> it was able to pin down thanks to the effort by Brett uh, Karwatsky. Karwatsky who noticed the problem when playing Stellaris on Steam. He wrote, using Linux Next uh, 2025 uh, 0307 to play the game Stellaris via Steam, I noticed the loading the game gets sluggish with the progress bar getting stuck at 100%. In this situation, mouse and keyboard's input don't work properly anymore. Switching to a VT and killing Stellaris somewhat fix the situation, though in one instance, the touchpad did not work. After that, I bisected the bisected this between version 6.14-RC5 and the next 2025-0307, and got this at the first bad commit. It says here, reverting um, uh, commits uh, 7FFB7914237 in the next uh, 20. 250307 fix the issue for me. The OS is Debian SID and it says last updated 2025-0309. And this is the hardware and this is the hardware is an MSI Alpha 15 laptop. Says here uh, upon investigating further, it was understood that the bug was a result of an issue with kernel address space layout uh, randomization. Uh, it says uh, CAS, CAS LR uh, features when it was disabled and no uh, CAS LR which led to a DMA direct memory access addressing error. For those wondering, CAS LR uh, is a security feature that helps load the kernel to a random location in memory and is meant for memory safety. It says there, uh, <laughs> says there uh, the patch note says, uh, as Brett uh, Karwatsky reports, the following recent commit caused a performance regression on AMD iGPU and DGPU uh, 7FF7914236C7. Uh, In the parentheses, it says x86 slash CASLR reduced CASLR entropy, entropy on most x86 system. It says here, uh, it exposes a bug with the no CASLR and zone device inter interaction. The root cause of the bug is that the GPU driver registered a zone device private memory region when CAS LR is disabled or the above <coughs> excuse me uh, or the above commit is applied. The direct uh, underscore map underscore uh, physics uh, 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 that's P-H-Y-S-M-E-M and -E is set to much higher than 10, 10 TIBs Typically to a 64, 64 TIBS address. It says here, uh, 
when zone device private memory uh, is added to the system via add underscore page and then two brackets comma it bumps up the max underscore PFN to the same value this cause DMA underscore addressing underscore limited bracket to return true since the device cannot address memory all the way up to max PFN, PFN this caused a regression for games played on iGPUs as it's resulted in a DMA32 zone being used for GPU allocation and it says you can read in full at the source LKML and it says uh, Linux kernel mailing list link below yeah, I will leave I will leave all the links in the description box so yeah that should do it so uh Nvidia uh, and your engineers always 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 working and always fixing things but looks like Nvidia is you know taking 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 it more a little bit more serious taking taking things more seriously you know and um, getting um, uh, problems are resolved so people can you know continue their gaming experience you know so yeah good good for them you know so they found a problem they located it now they fixed it time to move on let me see what this link nope this link oh oh okay yeah and this is and this link is for you programmers so there's three links here I will leave the link in the description box <laughs> that's for sure <laughs> Uh, but the but the politician and the debaters, they don't have they didn't make any comment on this. They must ain't got around to it. So I I put this out on the web, on on YouTube. So yeah, for you for you and for you and 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 video fans. Yeah, <clears throat> Cas LR a security feature. Hmm. Man. DMA thirty two GPU allocation. Yeah, there's there's three links here: link one, link two, and link three. I'll leave all of them. Anyway, I'm gonna leave this video with the article and the link in the description box. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Nice talking to you people again, Chris. Still Star Wars, Star Trek, Dark Dark Sex. Go, peace.